Hello and welcome back to the latest tutorial of the simple and amazing base building video series. Today we are going to add power to our base using solar panels and electromagnetic generators. But first, let's have a look at how I solved my hovering landing pad problem. I've built some storage rooms underneath them. Maybe later, I'll use the one on the left for refiners or something else, I'm not sure yet. The storage room on the right houses my batteries. Now let's build some solar panels underneath the base. This is why I reserved the space there in my first video. Usually, four of them are enough to power the portal and some lights you might want to add. You can change the color of them by pressing the G button and rotate them using the mouse wheel. When done, place them where you see fit. Now it's time to wire them up and connect them to the batteries. Now that's done and your batteries get charged. So let's focus now on the electromagnetic generators and how to build that reactor you've seen in the thumbnail. That's my electromagnetic reactor down there. Doesn't it look amazing? What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. As you can see, I got extremely lucky to find an S-Class hotspot so close to my base. And I wasn't even looking for one at the time when I was looking for a place to build my base. So let's jetpack over there and have a closer look at it. What if I told you that you've built parts of it before and the structure should look very familiar to you? It's basically the main base building flipped 90 degrees. Only difference being that I've built it out of stone base parts this time. Now let me show you how we can flip it by 90 degrees and how to go on from there. Go into the build menu and select the material you want to use. This time I'm using the timber parts. Select the wall and place three of them on top of each other so that we get some ground clearance. After that, place a floor panel. Go back into the build menu and select the light floor. The light floor's rotation determines which way our structure will face. Let me show you an example. You see, this is not the way I want the structure to face. So we need to rotate the light floor to get the desired outcome. Take a closer look at the markings on the light floor and you'll see that it's different from the one I've placed before. You might have to experiment a little to get it right. Press the Q button, which enables the toggle wire mode. Move your mouse towards the power connector till it changes into a circle. Now press Q and the left mouse button at once. That's way better, we can now start to build the structure. Just repeat what I do in my video.
Let's have a look at what we've just built. Now that's done, we can add the walls. I'm using simple timber walls and glass walls here to show you that you can do it with all of them. You can now delete the floor panels, since we don't need them anymore. So, the worst part is done. We can now add the electromagnetic generators. As you can see, the game does not allow me to place them on the walls. We can fix that by using the same glitch building technique that we've used before. Select the electromagnetic generator, change into wire toggle mode and place the generator by pressing Q and the left mouse button at once. Repeat the same step for all the walls. Tip, there are always some markings on the wall panels. However, if you place them, not in the exact center, who cares? This is supposed to be fun, and not an insane 24-hour building project that drives you nuts. Having fun, while building it. That's the main goal here. As you can see, it's getting there. I've just ran out of build materials to go on. However, it's just rinse, repeat and getting the timing right. If you'd like to add the crystals that are on my build, just use the same toggle wire view technique as before. Use the electromagnetic generator's wire connection points as means to find the center and go on from there. The only thing left to do is to connect the electromagnetic generators and build a wire to your base. You can add a foundation to the build by using walls again and floor panels to cover them up.
So you see, it wasn't that hard to build after all. Hope you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.